Whoa, horsey. Oh, cool! And there's a diamond in it. Is it that nice of a piece? Very nice piece. What's I don't the... know, dude. This is looking really good. This is not looking like costume jewelry at all. How do you tell the difference? Let me see here. Let me take one of these out and look at the carbons and stuff in the sunlight. Dude, that's got a lot of sparkle, man. I think we're into the real it? deal. Woo! Let me see it. These rings are looking good. As long as it's not some costume jewelry from some burlesque show, I might beat the house this time. Vegas, baby. So, you know, I bought this in a storage locker, and I've been sitting on it all night, and I didn't sleep good. It's driving me crazy. I'm dying to find out what this is worth. OK, I'll help you. OK, well, that's what I'm looking for. OK, if you're not patient, you'll become one. <laughs> <laughs> this Mordecai guy, he's pretty cool. I'm kind of liking his style. Sure. I'm going to sort them out. The real stuff put one side, the junk put in another side, OK? Absolutely. Wow. They didn't put a year down. Shame on them. What is that? It's a calendar on a heart, and there's a diamond in it. I need you to pay very special attention to this piece, OK? okay. Is it that nice of a piece? Very nice piece. OK, so, it's a Tiffany, uh, and I don't know how old it is. It could be a collector's item, OK? So any woman and would be happy to get that. Yeah, and not too many of nice. those all around. So bring it to me. I'll polish it for you, make it like brand new. Mordecai, okay? you're the man. Now I've got something to bring home to my wife. This is a very good item. It's a 14 karat solid gold. Nice. It's pretty old. Bolova with the diamonds. Excellent. OK, this should be. All right. There we go. Wow. That's a Tiffany necklace. Yeah? OK. Wow. That's good wow. stuff, right? Yeah. Come on, Mordecai. Awesome, Tell me how good awesome, it is. Awesome, awesome. You know, he keeps writing down numbers. I'm hoping this stuff is worth so much that he can't even keep track of it. <laughs> Let me total it for you, OK? The bracelet, this one is 14 karat gold with diamonds. That's about 2,000. You got the studs here. Awesome. They're 500. Nice. This heart, solid gold. With the diamond on the calendar, it's about $500. Yes. This watch is $1,500. Boom. Wow. OK. Then you got that Tiffany necklace, which is $1,500. Mm. Got everything together, came up to $17,000. Yes. Kidding? OK. Woo. Yeah. That's All what right. I'm talking yeah. about. That's the wild wow factor, right. baby. Okay. That's the wild wow factor. Right. I am up 17 grand. I am loving this city right now. For the first time in my life, I'm leaving Vegas with something. Ooh, oh, cool. This is a little pin. This is greatness. We've never expected. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Another little vintage pin. I mean, normally I would think that this was like maybe costume jewelry, but it's so sparkly. These are all like your classic vintage galorness greatness. And it's all different stuff. Maybe you're gonna get these checked out. Blank, blank. Oh, these are some really interesting things. This is gold. Oh my God. So this is nine carat. Nine carat was only used in England. Oh, wow. This is silver. This is a natural pearl, probably from the Mississippi River Delta. And this one, the top that the stones are set in is silver. I think 1908, the suffragette movement. The women's rights. Women's rights, women's voting. Yeah. The people in the movement, they declared green, purple, and white as their colors. Yeah. Supporters of women's suffrage wore sashes with suffragette jewelry. And some people say that it was because they didn't want their husbands to know. Oh, wow. So the people in the movement would know, but the rest of the world might not. So it's historical, it's suffragette jewelry. So how much are we talking here? This is nine carat. It's English. The green and the white are paste. Those are garnets. It would probably sell for about $250. OK. Next would be this. So this is silver, and that's a real freshwater natural pearl. Because it is suffragette jewelry and of the period, I would value this at probably $500. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. And on this, again, we know it was nine carat from before. I would value this at 650 Nice. Whoa, this looks cool. Whoa, horsey. This could be silver right here. It's kind of soft or aluminum. It's like it has like a lot of little tools on it or something. Wow. A little bit of silver spoons. I know this is money, but there's one item in here. I don't know what it is. It's this wind chime type thingy. This is definitely unique. Got to be worth getting checked out, especially since it was wrapped in this nice hanky. Hopefully, this will put me over the top. 
This is really cool. So this is what's called a Victorian chatelaine, a piece of jewelry that was worn by maids or housekeepers, sort of a tool belt. Here you see there's little tweezers, a little thimble. This seems to be sterling silver. Ooh, I know that's so, a thing. Yes. If you kind of think of it in modern day times, this is essentially a Swiss army knife. Back in the day, I'm sure this was worth a lot to the maids, but I want to know what it's worth to me. OK. Well, it's in really good condition. I would say a piece like this would be worth $1,350. $1,350? Woo! That's great. I was able to upgrade my store and make some money. It don't get much better than that. Do you have one of these? I do not. OK. I, I have a feather duster. Well, at least it's a cool feather duster. It is. It is. It's cool. Oh, cool! Bakelite. Small bracelets. These are awesome. So, 70s, cool. These jewelry boxes are good. Ooh, Berlin. These look pretty old. The design alone is awesome and like mid century modern. So chic. I think maybe I should get this stuff checked out. I usually don't think twice about plastic jewelry, but this stuff is cool. Mid century modern galore. <gasps> Smells like money. Is it? Bakelite or Fakelite? That's what we're going to find out right here. Real Bakelite okay. is like the gold of plastic. It was invented about 110 years ago by a guy whose name was Leo Bakeland. Oh, okay. So he named it after cool. himself. We should test some of these pieces to see okay. if they're real. Do you have um, 409 and a Q-tip will do it? Yeah. So if we spray a little 409 on the Q-tip, if you rub it a little bit and it turns yellow, that means you've got Bakelite. If there's no yellow, sorry. Moment of truth, if it turns yellow, I'll be making some green. So here we go. We're gonna rub it a little bit on the inside. Rubbity rub, 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 rub. And then, oh look, it's yellow. Can you see that? Yeah. So that is genuine, authentic Bakelite. Yes, okay. Yes. I would say this is $195. Really yes. nice detail. Oh my god. And then you've got these bangles. These, I mean, all together like this, they're great colors. They've got a great patina. I would say probably about 150 for all of these. Really? Yeah. We all have color. Oh, look at this. Now this is an unbelievable piece. Okay, this is major. <laughs> this is real. This Yes, okay. I wouldn't sell it off my neck if I were you for less than about three hundred dollars. Awesome. Oh, look at that. That's the other thing. Bakelite has a sound to it. Oh. It has a musical. Hear that kind of yeah. harmony? Totally. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> Bakelite. Uh, this is really rare. Red is super desirable. And then this mustard accent. <laughs> I would say on this one, you could probably get 350 Really? Yeah. Wow. I know. I can't believe how much my Bakelite's worth. This plastic is fantastic. Pure plastic gold. Yeah. Hear me? Yeah. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world!